Greetings, Earthlings. It's your boy, the wizard. I have small thoughts I would like to share. It's about self work And it came on today when I was short intro to the story about me breaking free from narcissistic abuse. I've uh, been on the path for a while. Uh, a lot of relationships have disappeared. They're ending. Like these patterns are like I'm breaking these cycles. I'm doing it. I'm winning. And today I had a small, mm, like, um, mixed, mixed uh, intentions idea where I texted an ex. It was sort of a booty call. I'm gonna be honest. But you know what? Fuck, fuck it. Like these narcissists. Um, I'm gonna have fun, okay? Like, I'm like, if you don't wanna give me any emotional satisfaction, if you want to tear me down, if you want to make me feel bad, fine, but at least give me good sex or something. <sighs> so, my deal with God was we're like, you know what? I know this person is bad, I know this has to end, um, but maybe one more time, you know, um, see what you can do. So, I text and Typical, I get typical response from a narcissist, very empty, very blah, very correct. Like, hey, how are you? Of course. Oh, you would like to meet? What about? What about would you like to meet? And, and this can be arranged, but like it, uh, it depends on what and why. It like, uh, like, like, they're not even taking you, it's they're not even taking into account that, that I'm sort of putting myself out there a little bit. I think they know, I think they know that, that, like, that I'm crawling again, and then, but what, what really bothered me is, was this, this, it's been a while since I contacted this person, and there was no reason to be that bitchy that fast, I, like, it was in the first message, and again, immediately there was this, this obvious underlying message of, like, um, I don't give a shit and they like going on a date is the last thing on my mind. Um, I'm not interested. And at the same time, there's this sort of clear and immediate response, but then no, no real contact. There's just no contact. Okay, fine, fine. If you want to be that way, fine. But it's still, it still really got to me. And I think... <laughs> I don't know why, but I think I'm just used to narcissists being a lot more, like, they, they're smart, and usually they're a little bit more, they'll play the game a little bit more, like, this was just sort of unnecessarily, like, cold, it was just cold, and it really got to me, but it, it made me start to think, like, the question, because I was, I was had this, this, um, um, little note where we're putting on some like beliefs and and what changed and one of the biggest things that i was finally integrating in for me is that my worth my self-worth is not up for discussion and and it's become a very logical thing and I'm, I'm feeling a lot of confidence because of this and it's it's been a long process okay and then the feeling i always get with these narcissists especially when when there's this when you're actually not speaking anymore or they the reaction it always feels like this that it's like they're trying to put my self worth worth back up for discussion it's like they're trying to open the conversation again in a way and i was just thinking why what are they trying to do because Like, there's been some narcissists in my life where I've shown nothing but sort of awe and, regard, um, and respect and appreciation for, for the power or the, the, um, the value I see in them. And then they still seem to, to use any small... Like, even when they're above you, even when they're sort of they've already made you feel small they've already sort of they have the control they have the power they they can show everybody that in their mind they're winning or they're doing it and they have the control and then in this weird way they would still i feel like they still attacked 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 my self-worth but then i realized that the their i think their main motivation is not, it's not even about making me feel bad 
I think what they're doing is they are trying to feel safe because they don't understand. Um, they're just checking if their self-worth is still okay. That's what they're doing. That's what I think they're doing. Um, and I thought of it like this way. I hope, I hope I still can get it right. Let's say everybody wears red clothes, red clothes. And the redder the clothes are, the more chic or the more expensive, the more, the more valuable they are. Like, okay. So let's very simple example. Everybody wears red clothes and, um, the people with the most, most red clothes on or the, the, the brightest red, um, they have the most power. Let's say like this, okay? So, let's say um, I have a friend or, or a, a, an acquaintance and he's, a, and he's a narcissist and he's very good in this red clothes business. He has the best red clothes, okay? He's winning the game, very powerful man, fine. And this is how I f it feels for me, okay? So, I... Let's say you have so you have suddenly someone with blue clothes. Then this the, the narcissist person or the, the guy with the, the, the bright red clothes on, he really, really wants to know why this person is wearing blue clothes. That's what they do. They just, they'll fly at it, like, because they don't get it. And all, they, all they, they're not even interested in, do I like these blue clothes? Does it look cool? Um... Is this person important? Um, do I like this person? They're not even, I think that's not even what they're looking at. I think the thing they're mostly looking at is, hold up, what does this mean? Does this mean that this person is more important? Does that mean that I'm less important then? And how do I get blue clothes? I don't know how the system works. For I think a lot of people, or I think for narcissists, they really have this urge for control and just the whole the whole threat of something breaking the system for them is just it triggers them into they really have to either know that it doesn't matter that there's that it's okay like let's say they, they go at this person with blue clothes and then the answer is uh oh no it's just crazy and that's why he wears blue clothes or that's what poor people wear or um, no, it's a one-time thing, it doesn't really matter, it's never coming back again. They just need to know that their system is safe and that they can still be, um, they can still be sure that they're red clothes, that they're winning the game, okay? That they know how to win the game because let's say suddenly, suddenly there's a couple of guys with blue clothes and... And, and the explanation is that means that actually blue clothes, it's a new thing. Um, that's for the extra rich people. Okay. For the narcissist, this is fuck. The, like I need to, I need to get blue clothes. There's another level and I'm not on, I'm I, now there's people looking down on me. Okay. And it, it's not even for them about wanting to feel all powerful. I think it's in the contrary. I don't, I think they don't really like um it's not about the power because they don't really feel that it's about it's about the control they feel really threatened in this because their sense of value is completely determined by what other people think by the system um try to look at it like this i'm going to try to simplify uh, with an example, with another example, let's say you have, um, let's say you have a child, a little boy. Let's say this is the most easiest example. I think always think narcissists are more little boys, angry boys. Let's say you have a little boy, and he has really rich parents. But they're away for some reason. And this little boy, you know, is really young and he's running the household. Uh, and is this weird? So, like, he has known nothing else. So, then this house and that he's rich. And he sort of gets the message. Let's say, like, money's no problem. Or there's more than enough money. That's not going to be a problem soon. Okay? And this boy is trying to run this household. Um... 
you can imagine that that's a very weird situation and this boy it's a lot of stress but mostly there's this sort of stress of this boy getting all like let's say he's trying he's trying and he's paying the bills and it's sort of working and he sort of gets most of it like there's a water bill there's an electricity bill but suddenly all these taxes come up that he's never heard of and he's like oh okay that's a thing oh that's a new thing oh and that's also a thing what what does that mean and he's trying to figure out all these illogical things that seem to drop out of nowhere because that's what paying your bills is um and the problem is this boy for him this is such a this is such a, a an anxious thing because he has no investment in he really doesn't feel the weight of his work for him it feels like he's keeping the world up and he doesn't even feel why because he had like let's he's taking care of this huge house and paying all these taxes and special other fees and gardeners maybe and then there's two electricity bills for some reason and there's also gas and what did we use gas where do we use gas but there's gas bill um so he's just trying to run around dealing with this and he gets getting so frustrated and angry at these unexpected problems that he can't foresee and at the same time the the problem is he had he had no choice he didn't buy the house he didn't choose to live there he didn't choose these responsibilities or he didn't like he didn't know what he was signing up for when he said like sure i'll pay the bills mom and dad or he there was no negotiation he just had to do it and he 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 has also he had never experienced the process of you make a little bit money you pay you get a little bit more money you um you buy your first flat you pay your first first bills you learn this along the way you make more money you buy a house you think about this you want this you plan this you're happy with this this is a big accomplishment you buy a house you're making money you can you can sort of upgrade your life okay then you have a sense of worth and a sense of choice and for you and paying the bills in your house there's there's this sort of maybe a sense of pride because you you built you you made that house or you bought that house for this child it's all zero value he had no choice he's just sort of stuck in this slave like um machine that he's just trying to run and he had he has also no stake in it there's no nothing to gain he's just that's just um a task he has and also it, it sort of becomes his identity he becomes the boy that can pay all these bills and look at him he's a big strong boy and he's doing it alone and his parents aren't there and uh, wow he's a really strong man but he doesn't want to do this so he gets and and there's this sort of weird trait that in a sense he's not getting he has to do things that he shouldn't be doing he has to do it without his parents so the trade off is he gets maybe a lot more uh uh reward or um validation like wow you're such a strong boy look at you doing it all alone he gets a lot of extra um um compliments or people really trying to make him feel good about this but it's a bribe because that's not what this boy needs and that's not what he wants but he's be, it's being stuffed in him like you're the big strong man that can do it you're the big strong guy that can do it from a young age you did it without a father you're a um look at you like a, you can be proud of that and he almost gets carried and and they also also like it happens that um when this this boy when things go wrong people tend to look the other way because ah uh, but it's it's he's been uh, his parents been away a long time and like he's been doing it alone you don't have to let's not be too hard on him let's let it slide let's let's all give him a hand let's all just uh like like let it go and there are no boundaries and also the sort of disconnection that happens with the world for this child 
um, and the sense of entitlement, like it's it's a double thing. It's big sense of entitlement, like just for being here, I should be admired because that's how it always was. That's how that's how I was treated, and at the same time, they have this sort of power that they never wanted. And but at the same time, it's their identity. Like it's 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 sort of what I'm known for, but I'm actually angry that I never had a choice, and I'm stuck in this, because for a lot of I think for a lot of men who grew up without a father or for for other certain similar situations they uh i think what they deep down a lot of the times want is actually to somebody take over control and um that they're free that they have that they're off the hook they don't have to play the 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 the, the, the power um the big man anymore and at the same time i think doing that is just ego death because then if they're not the big strong man then what are they and i don't, it's and i think it's really about just how they measure worth because i think they're like let's say this little boy again he learns later like okay so because like he's rich and his parents just say there's enough money but he has no that doesn't make him happy he doesn't care he doesn't care there's nothing that doesn't mean anything for him. There's no sense of, of pride or, or that it makes other things more easy. No, actually for this little boy, all this money just made his life really hard and shitty. And he feels like he has, he's, he, that it's more that, that the money has this little boy as a helper than this boy has this money to spend. Okay. It's, it's the boy is a function of this. He feels sort of trapped. But then later he learns, actually that money is really powerful and a lot of people like it. And a lot of people like you if you have a lot of money. Okay, that's a good thing then. And then they get trapped because you can't blame them for playing the money game. Like they also just want to feel better, get connection, do what they think they're supposed to do. But they have a power problem because, first of all, they don't... When people look at them and they say, wow, you're so rich, look at you, they're insulted and they feel not seen because I didn't choose this money and all my life this money determines me and I wish people would just give me a break to be a person aside from this. Or guys without a dad, like, I had to be the man in the house. I had to take up that role. I had to do it without everybody. And then what do I get for this, for doing this? Oh, another, like a lifetime of being the strong man again. And there's no sense of pride in this because there was not a choice. You had to be the big strong man. Congratulations. You're a big strong man. And it's, it feels, they don't feel it because they never became strong. They just had to be it. Um, so there's no sense of real value in it for them. They don't feel like a big man because they have this, because they have a lot of money, because it doesn't make them inherently feel like they have value because they didn't, like to see the boy with his inheritance, he, 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 did, he didn't do anything for that money, he just got it from his parents. So for him, there's no sense of, I, I can do that if I want to. I can make that money. It's a, and that's another problem that this boy has in this house is a sense of control. Like, it's a way to, even though they said you, there will be enough money or you can see that there are millions on the bank account and you're just paying the bills and you're fine. Okay, like there's enough money. But there's this inside feeling that, especially with children, that like, I have no control. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, where is this going? What are we doing? Are my parents coming back? Why am I doing this? What will I do later? Will I make enough money to pay this? Will there always be enough money? Like, how does money work? Is this a lot of money? Is that a lot, a lot of money? Um, they have no idea. They're sort of 
like trying to grasp a system or 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 a, a hierarchy where they never um um I got a chance to to learn they just sort of had to um so I hope I made my point in that story somehow I th I got c completely lost so there's um so oh yeah this the sense of entitlement that they often have just also is often I think it hangs together with a, a really big anger and anger and that's the problem with another narcissist that I find so frustrating because I mean stop being a little bitch okay like make up your fucking mind either you want to make people um, crawl for you because you're so powerful but then if people like like appreciate your power you're insulted and you don't like it and you just feel like you don't know me and you don't see me and people um like they feel like they have to punish it or they have to like lash out because people actually are like making them feel lonely because they are so scared to put off a mask that they they want to put off and ever since they've like were in this situation they wanted nothing more than to put off that mask and f fucking be themselves but there's this, this sort of i think it's this crazy train where you think there'll be a stop to get off and like like think about it and suddenly you're like 40 and your whole life revolves around this and Still, I think for a lot of people, they're doing well, they're making money, but I think there's still this huge sense of, I really don't know what I'm doing. I don't get the world. I really don't get people. I feel like I have to manipulate and people feel all cold to me and like I'm being bad and I'm, I feel powerless and I feel um, angry. I feel so, so much anger and I'm trying to save people from this and I'm trying to get people to... I'm trying to spare them, but uh, at at the same time, um, like I'm failing them, and then I get angry at the people because they make they make me feel like I'm failing them, and they refuse to take up any more ownership. They refuse to take any more responsibility out of a sort of anger that they had to when they didn't want to, and I'm sorry to say, but it it's really childish energy that that's something that still mind boggles me is why okay i get all this and that you're troubling that that that, that but not even the the question like huh maybe 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 it is me or not even when your son is on the line or somebody else's sanity that's i what that's one the one thing that i despise about anybody who does that or narcissists they do it a lot is where they lie or they do something shitty or or um, deceitful and you call them out on it or you address it and then they would rather make you feel like you're crazy. They would really hold on to this to the grave. Like, no, like you're seeing things. You're making it up in your mind. You must be imagining things. Then to just admit that, that you saw something or to... Like, really, this insults me. It insults me so much. Especially people I've known, f like, longer that, like, that see that I'm sharp in these things and that where I've already noted these things before so they know and they've acknowledged it and there's been meta communication and then when this time comes they'll just no they you should just see that you're crazy and they they'll they'll just stand there looking at you like you swallow this lie bitch cuz I have nothing to lose oh like I lose you oh fine whatever they don't care they would rather keep the pride make you feel like you're crazy break off the friendship then then I, and, and i and i don't even care if like the first reaction is really bad but then i sort of expect somebody at home to sort of try to 
understand the other person even a little bit, but it always felt so, nope, done. Either you uh, take the abuse and take the lies or uh, yeah, like then with the relationship is over, fine, that's good, that's fine for me, I don't care about you. Yeah, why would you care about me? Why would you? <sighs> it's, it's like they would like just to run the risk that they could lose a little bit of face or or be ridiculous just to give somebody else the benefit of the doubt is just it's impossible to them they they that's what i'm saying they refuse to to budge in this they give you nothing out of a stubbornness and out of an anger that they hey like they had a difficult childhood so they had to do it and and you know it's not it's not fun for everybody i have to do stuff i don't like to do so you will have to do stuff like that it's just like this excuse for everything to not be accountable for anything anything and at the beginning like talking about self word where they seem to unnecessarily attack my self word or, or your self word and like i said like i think that the, the thought i was having today is that it's really not about my worth at all when they do this they're not they're they don't they're not looking at what they really think i think that's really buried or they're like what is my worth and they're not even questioning this the only thing they want to know is like does this affect my worth okay that's the only thing they want to know so let's say this red 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 guys and blue guys because i thought it was a good example so you have uh the red guys they're all fine they're powerful and they have a hierarchy everything's going great the guy with the blue comes up they're like whoa, whoa, whoa. what is this what is this uh do we need the blue shirt is this a new thing is this a new system do we need to go now uh fine okay so i have this feeling where I'll have the blue shirt and then the narcissist come to me and he immediately goes like, what is this? What is the blue shirt? Uh, are you, are you stupid? Are you an idiot? Are you, uh, are you an asshole? What is going on? Like immediately pushing me into, and, and they do it in this, it's always feels very insulting, but I think it's just their way of serving. They really want, they, they're using mean words and trying to, they're trying to trigger your feelings so they can know for sure something they want to know they're afraid you will lie they're afraid you will be like oh these blue clothes no that's that's fine like you don't need to worry about that but secretly actually they're super special and more worth than you they're so afraid to give you that control like i could just ask him i i, I can just go to that blue guy and ask him like hey is this blue stuff is this um do I need to worry about this? Um, is it uh, is it valuable? Uh, does it is it special? To just ask it so directly, it's just they are giving control to the, that person. Then like, oh, this person that I don't know yet is if it's more if it's more valuable or less valuable than me, then I'm giving them power. They could possibly lie to me. I don't know if I have to take them serious again. So they will sort of put up a question where they're trying to see if if or oh, if he becomes upset uh then then maybe it's this or this or if uh they're trying to like get get a certain re reaction out of you for them to have a, a, a safety that they know that that they can um, be sure of the answer or something anyways but then what my story would be for instance and this is painful for me this has been always been like my stories were like gosh um i actually like red clothes a lot and i'm uh, like admire your red clothes so so much and I, the thing is just like i never got a chance with the red clothes i never got it 
So I've been stuck with these blue clothes for a while and I kind of like it too, you know, like making my own. Um, and, and it's kind of cool. And actually the secret is you can wear all the colors and it doesn't matter. The colors don't determine anything. But that's like for, for crazy people. But um, so my story is like, how I never got a chance with the red clothes. So I'm stuck with these blue clothes and I like it. Um, uh, but but it doesn't really matter to me. Um, for these narcissists in the red clothes, um, the message it doesn't matter is something that he will not want to hear. He wants to he hold strong to his system with the red clothes. He wants to know that his system is the system where he has the control. Okay, that's the system we determine value. The one with I have the reddest clothes. I'm the most powerful, okay? This this dude that sort of wants to imply that it actually doesn't matter, no, they, they hate me. Why you think you're gonna walk in and just think you're the same as value as me with your blue clothes? Hello, like, um, don't be so arrogant. They hate me. They're like, that douchebag, look at him how arrogant he is. He just thinks that, he's, that he can do this or this. Like, because he has blue clothes, he doesn't have to they feel it's unfair because they've been fighting and trying to keep control of the system for such a long time and then they're finally doing it good and then this idiot with blue clothes is gonna just have a smile have like make them feel like it doesn't matter hell no hell no okay um and and what's so painful always to me is they Oh, they never hear my. They never hear me when I'm trying to say I never had red clothes. It's not like non, not one part in their brain goes like, oh, like in that like. When if I would be in that situation, that would that's not nice. So that must be sort of hard for him. So. Like they, why don't they hear me when I say like, actually, I've never had red clothes. And I, I, I dream of it all the time. And man, for me, you are the God. Look at you with your red clothes. You are, for me, the thing I always wished I could be. They don't hear that. They, it's, they don't even care because they don't feel like that. They just want to know if you're going to be a problem or not and if they can control you. So usually what they'll do is this guy will be like, here's a red sock, buddy, crumbs. But for this narcissist, giving a red sock, no, no, that's, I just gave you a sock, okay? This is how a narcissist goes. I just gave you a sock, okay? Um, and, and look what I'm doing for you, like, I don't give everybody socks, okay? Do you think I have time to give everybody socks? No, like, they will use the fact that they gave you a sock until the end of times as an argument for their, that they're obviously trying, right? Like, um, I'm sorry, I'm just getting tired. It's like, it's bullshit excuses. I can just think of a hundred and at the same time, it's so <sighs> exhausting, it's exhausting. Um, but I do think I have a good point with the self-worth thing where it's good to start to see that when people are attacking your self-worth, they are trying to keep themselves safe and you don't have, to, don't defend your self-worth. Don't try to start defending why blue clothes are actually also cool and valid. They, they don't care. The only thing they want to hear is it, like blue clothes don't matter and my system works. They don't want to hear anything about maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe um, maybe both should be valuable. Maybe it's like, no, no, no. They just want to know like, do I still have the control and the power? And not because then they feel like, yeah, I'm still the man. Look at me. Wow. No. Then they just feel tired. And... 
disconnected even more because it it's they just I think they really hate this feeling, this anger and this anxiety that they are pushed by. And I think they also, I know they also really, they, it, for them it feels like people make them do awful things or make them say awful things and that people sort of put them in this position. And it's, I do see that they are oftentimes powerless in their pushing people away like they like like they're being an asshole and at the same time they're sort of seeing it like fuck I'm fucking it up again or I'm disappointing it again there's this there's this suffering going on for sure but man I'm so sick and tired of it because look they may be suffering but they have zero regard for anybody else's suffering. They're just small children that still are waiting, that, that out of the anger, just sort of try to get everybody in the same, try to punish everybody. It's this just an, in, an, a childish energy. And it's just every time your logic, you cannot reason with these people, you will never win. Because the point, they will just drive the point home fa more that how pathetic you are, okay? And like they, they love to see you cry. They just love to know that they can have that effect, that they, for them winning an argument is, they want to see they have control. So make you scared, make you cry make you feel bad, make you feel guilty. That's what they love to do. Like before you know it, you did something awful, but they won't bring it up. They'll bring it up the next time you have something to complain about. Um, like, uh, like, oh, you cheated on me. Like, uh, with a whole bunch of people, I'm kind of upset about that. And then they'll go like, Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Now you're gonna now you're gonna start slut shaming me, okay? Like, hmm? where is that red sock I bought you? Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, that's right. Like, um, we all get hurt here. You see what I mean? This is a very bad example, but it's just the their reasoning is always like they and they always make you feel like they you hurt them so much and the, every time you come out of it with like just b b you doubt yourself and they're counting on it that's all they need that's all they need so you doubt yourself even a little bit like just to make you go for a second like gosh maybe maybe i did see it wrong maybe i was making a big deal out of it maybe i was a bit that's all they need and they will then they win then they win and, and, and you should go think about what you, what you're doing. It's like the same when you put a narcissist, you give them a, let's say you want to be a hero and, and make the narcissist see that he's a narcissist, which will never work. And let's say you, you do the intervention and you say like, look, um, I think you're a narcissist. Um, uh, and this is why and why, um, and, and look, here's a paper with, with like, like information and blah, blah, blah. And then they'll be like, you think I'm a narcissist? Okay, they'll listen to you. And then they'll look at the list and they're like, okay. Mm -hmm. It's you. You're the narcissist. And while they're doing this accusation, there's immediately this, they're already laughing at you. It's not, they're not like, well, I do have to say, I find a lot of these criteria, I also see we, like in your behavior. So for me, I could say that you're the narcissist. No, they go like, you're the narcissist. Oh, this is amazing. This is unbelievable. This is, I'm going to like, wait till they hear at work what I'm going to tell this. This is typical. Like, no, like luckily I was smart enough to 
see what was going on here. So typical, like, it's so typical. You don't have to feel bad. It's typical of people, like, projecting a bit of these problems. Must be so hard for you. Like, we'll get you some good help. You see what I mean? It's not like it's the... They don't take your, your, They don't take you serious. They don't take your accusation seriously. They accuse you. They are insulting you. They are laughing at you. They are belittling you. They are um, make, and they're also trying to get you to be angry, because they know they're like, they're trying to make you feel like you have no control. And then you lose your temper, you become crazy and controlled, and then you're just like, it's on the list here. Crazy, out of control, angry, sudden outbursts. Baby, like, we need to get you some help. God, I see you're suffering. Trust me, in, 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 <laughs> it can turn around so fast that you're crying and believing them. Like... Like, because you're, you're there shaking out of control, right? And they're standing there calm and... And then you feel guilty, like, oh my God, I'm a terrible person. Like, I'm... That you have to deal with me. And they'll make sure that you know how much... Out of their way they have to go to help you and accommodate your crazy antics. Mm, like... But they're a good person. They're a good person. Like, look at what I do for you. Look at what I do for you. You're lucky I like to have me. God. But it's constantly just making sure you don't, you can't ask anything of them. That's all they're doing. That's all they're doing. Trust me, when you come with a problem to a narcissist, no matter what the problem is, no matter who did it, like what the story is, their first questions will always be in the frame of let me make sure this is not my responsibility oh you have a problem like and what is this um okay and then why does this happen you're coming to me and like it's okay like oh no oh you did it okay like oh you did it like yeah that's typical they're just making sure that they don't carry the responsibility that's all they do narcissists hate responsibility they're little children and they don't want responsibility okay and they, if, you're, if you don't fit into the system, they will hate you. They won't even care about you. That's what I'm learning, okay? Because they're so afraid and so angry and they don't, they don't want to think about it. And the problem is in, in their world, I think they always have these people around them that fill in these, that become these little butlers and do everything they want so they can have this sort of they fill in the picture. They have the wife and the job and the thing, and then they're standing there angry, like, fine, I'm doing it right. Okay, like, I'm also not feeling happy. So you should all just do the same and we'd all just not feel happy together. And then, like, mm. <sighs> that's basically what they are. Uh, and they wear red shirts, and I'm a blue shirt. Good night, YouTube. <sighs>